Hi everyone, and welcome back. Looking at percentages again, I keep talking about the different types, and I want to make different types of questions feel the same, look the same, operate the same. So let's have a look what's going on here. Whether I was doing a discount, this time I'm going to do a markup. The nice thing about markup is the price is going to go up. So let's have a look what it is. Two basic details. You know you're going to get 45%. So you don't understand the words, but you know it's 45%. And you know it's $389.60. So you're going to use those two numbers. So instead of 45, again, I can write 45 out of 100. Or I can go when I'm talking about hundreds. Two zeros means two decimal places. So if I write that as 0.45, it works better with the money. So we're not introducing fractions into the question. Now, the other thing is we want 45% of that. The question doesn't say of, but if you think it through, it's 45% of that. Same as a discount. So we're now going to multiply by 389.60. Put that in my calculator I have written here, and that's 175.32. 175.32. So that's the amount that we're going to mark up. So what are we going to do with that amount? We're going to go... The original number plus the new amount. The original plus the new. So if I go 389.60 plus 175.32, which I could try to do in my head, but I've written it down here, 564, 564 and 92. So that's the, a lot of people will talk about the selling price. So if you bought it for this amount, you mark it up by 45%, by the way, you can see it's gone up by a fair bit. So it ends up selling for $564.92. I could get sidetracked and go, then when I go to a shop and uh, they have it listed as this price, I say, can you give me a better price? And they will look back to see how much money they mark the price up. So if they mark it up by 45%, they might say, oh, I can take off $5 or $10 or $20 off the price. So if you take your time, ask people if they've got a better price. Now, by the way, if it was marked up by a lot more than 45, they can take a lot more off the price. So a lot of companies do a bit much bigger markup than 45, and then they can actually offer you a discount on the price. Let's have a look what's going on here. The moment I do any one of these questions, then I do one like 8%. Just the moment I look at it, 8% is small or smaller. In other words, it's less than... 10%. The moment you get anything less than 10%, before I go there as a decimal, remember it's 8 out of 100. Two zeros means that it's going to have two decimal places. So you can't have 0 0.8. It's 0 0.08. Another way a lot of students don't quite get that is if that's less than 10, I put a 0 in. If that's less than 10, I put a 0 in. Then I've got my of, which I keep nagging about. So in normal life, when we say of, 8% of that, we're not talking about division, we're talking about multiplication. So 8% of 7950, and I've got my numbers written here, and that is $6.36. Now remember again, it's a mark up. So I don't subtract it, I add it. So you might notice with these questions all the time, there's very little cases where you're using a divide. When we're talking about something, a percentage and something, we're normally talking about a multiplication. I can think of a case where I could do different, but I haven't done it on today's videos. So then you've got your 79.50, and markup means it goes up, so we add the $6.36, and we end up getting, and I've got it here again, 85.86, 85.86. And again, we could talk about that being the selling price, or the price that you're listed at. So if you walk in the shop, and they had a whole lot of shirts and they they actually decided not to make a lot of profit on them. They'd have it listed as $85.86. Um, interesting part for a lot of shops, they wouldn't bother with $85.86. They'd go for different numbers like $85.89. They just add a bit of extra on and get their price there. I hope it helps. Uh, I'll see if I can make another video on commission because a lot of people struggle with commission. If it's helping, please, if you press like and if you can help me by... Uh, subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you.